Hi, this is Brian from Workshop Addict. I've been researching smaller air compressors for quite some time, trying to get something together that I can use in the shop in conjunction with our 60 gallon air compressor that we have in the corner. Something that we can use for safety latches on the lift, something that's very portable, uh, something that we can build small sheds with outside and just be able to grab onto and uh, take with us. Uh, after a lot of research, I kind of settled on this Bosch. This is a four gallon. It's the CET4-20W. Now this is one of the higher end ones at Bosch. Obviously it's a, a twin vertical um, four gallon total capacity tank. Uh, this guy has 4.9 CFM at 100 pounds, which out of all the smaller four gallons is, is at the upper end. It's also a uh, oil bath air compressor, so it's, it's maintenanceable that we can change the oil inside. Should last a long time. It has a recovery period of 10 seconds, and that is one reason I really like this unit. Uh, it's fast to pump up to 125 PSI, and I mean, it, it just pumps out some air. It's also very durable. It has a, a fan that covers or goes across the unit, and I can kind of show you some of these things as we go through it but a very well built, fairly quiet unit. It's at 80 decibels. So, I mean, it's right on the edge of do you need hearing protection or not, but at the same point, a very nice unit. Uh, it's meant to be portable. Like I said, it is, it is 85 pounds. They do have a handle on the top, so it is heavy, but it can uh, take two different hose connections here. It has a very easy to use drain in the center. Then you have your regulated pressure with an adjustment here along with the tank pressure. So what I'm gonna do is set this up so we can time it to where it'll be from zero pounds to how fast it goes up to uh, 125 pounds. Give you an idea of uh, why I think it's so nice because it's, it's fairly quick on pumping up. And then uh, we can kind of show you some pictures of some other parts of it that I think are really cool and uh, go from there. All right, we are set up here in a different location so we can get close to the unit. Um, camera is right on top of everything. I'm gonna flip the switch up here to turn on and push start at the same time, and we'll see how fast we get to 125 pounds. So as you can see, it took us 45 seconds to go from absolutely zero pressure in the tank up to 125 PSI. So 45 seconds to fill up this four gallon air compressor to 125 PSI. From uh, the air compressors I've had around, this is very impressive. Again, we're gonna be able to hold 4.9 CFM at 100 pounds. So I'm really impressed with the performance of this for around the shop, for uh, being portable. It's very easy to maintain. On uh, this side of our compressor, we have the uh, oil drain or oil, we have a drain and a dipstick. On the other side, where the uh, two horsepower direct drive motor is attached, there's a fan, the cooling fan that blows air across the uh, motor and compressor. A very nicely built unit, full thermal overloads, everything to protect this unit so you don't damage it out in the field. Uh, again, very nice. One of the things that I plan to do in the future when we're building some barns is use this Bosch Air Hammer Framing Nailer. So this is uh, one of the things that I want to use outside with this unit. And once we get to it, when the weather gets a little better, we'll uh, throw up a review or we'll actually do a video of us building this barn that I'm going to put together. If you're looking for something inside your shop that's not a full all out uh, you know, 60 gallon or 80 gallon air compressor, this is a great, great unit to have around. It should be able to keep up somewhat if you're uh, using some air tools on uh, automotive parts or uh, doing impact wrench things. But uh, I still think long term, I could get a buy with just this unit in the shop and uh, not have to go with anything that's overly expensive if I'm doing small projects. So if you, uh, are looking for an air compressor? Check it out. You can go to Bosch's site. They have a little more information on it. Uh, this is Brian from Workshop Addict. Have a good day.